What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Card Hedge Podcast. I'm your co-host, Omar, a.k.a. Retro Hoops, and of course, the gorgeous JD Sports Cards in the house. What's happening, my man? What's up, fella? How you doing? Dude, it's been we had a great weekend of football is what's up. We're going to talk about Brock in a little bit, but yep. I'm excited yeah, we for do. this week. Dude. Good good uh, conference championships, baby. The Joe Burrow Express is coming to town. That's right. That's right. I haven't even been I haven't even been keeping up on it too much. Keeping up on it too much, but yeah, man, that Joe Burrow kid's the truth, isn't he? He's back for a second time. Yeah, he's he's legit. Going against he's Mahomes legit. again, right? Yeah, Mah- I, Mahomes is in trouble, man. That high ankle sprain stuff is no joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we'll uh, see though. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, we'll he was trying. He was trying. He was trying to tough it out, but like you said, yeah. man. Being tough is yep. one thing, and then being able to not move is like completely something else. Yeah, yeah. He was he was trying to do that funky stuff that he was, you know, he know a little sideways yep. throws and stuff like that. Not happening, champ. Not happening. Uh, good little week of pickups. Um, I'll go first. I think you went first last time. I'm assuming right. you did. Um, not too big. I, I I do have a special one. So all right. So we'll we'll kick off with. My, I'm I'm still picking up Lucas. Uh, this nice. is the um, uh, the winter edition with the snowflakes on it. I got it in a nine five HGA, and I'm probably gonna crack and resub to SGC. Not because I want it out of the HGA case so much as I already have all my other ones in this same set. Because I have I have the the stripeless going to yep. SGC already, and um, my OCD just won't let this one stay. Even though I I, I think it's a great looking case. I mean, it's a, it's a good slab, good yeah. sticker, color match. I kind of like, the, like the label thing going on there. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. It's got a nice little. I mean, it's completely yep. matched. Um, and the actual you can't really see it on camera, but the actual uh, snowflakes are on the uh, label as well. So I don't know. I'm I'm still kind nice. of tossed up on that one. Um I mean, you saw the video. Picked up yep. a couple purdies. I got uh two more on the way. Listen, guys, Mercari is the place to go if you are chasing a hype, right? Like in this case, I mean I, I did the video. If you haven't watched the video, check the video out on the reasons why I bought these cards because it had nothing to do with hype. Um, but in order to avoid hype prices which is what you're going to find on eBay. Mercari is the best place to go because what ends up happening is that sometimes people just, they post stuff on there for sale and then they, in the middle of the hype, the card price goes up and then they don't update the price. And you can go in there and snatch stuff up for $15, $20, $30 under comps. I think I paid 20, 28 for one and I paid 32 for the other. I think comps right now are like about 50 bucks. So I actually got them under, under the price. This last one is... Um, a funny story. So a while back, I'd say probably about a week or two ago, or maybe yeah, probably a little over a week or two weeks ago, I did a video where I uh, was chasing uh, the Jokic rookie cards. I bought like five or six packs of um, a Donruss from, I think it's 1516 Donruss. Um, I bought some cello packs or some hanger packs. And I was like, you know what? It's a big, cheap little rip. Well, it wasn't really cheap. It was maybe like 50, 60 bucks for all the packs. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to chase. I don't have a Joker rookie in my uh, collection. Uh, but I swung. I mean, I swung and I missed. I struck out. I didn't I didn't hit a, a, a Joker rookie as it as it played out. Um, one, of, one of the subscribers, shout out to my man, Brian, says, hey, man, you kind of inspired me to do the same thing, but I don't really do basketball. So what I did was, is I had some of these packs. I actually had some. Uh, so he ripped them on camera, and he goes, "Oh yeah, oh, yeah." What, whatever, one. whatever I get, I'm sending to you, right? And it just so happens that in his five packs, I think he had, he hits yep. a Jokic rookie hollow. Yep. To one ninety nine. Oh, that was numbered too, dude. To one ninety nine, bro. Yeah, he and messaged he, me. And he sends me a message. He's like, Omar, you're not going to believe this. 
he sent me the video yeah of him yep, ripping the cards yep and he goes here man this is it i mean i i whatever whatever i got out of this video is is all yours not only did he hit a, he hit this but he also hit an autograph um jakar samson probably not much of a name but he hits yep. an autograph and a Jokic rookie numbered to 199 hollow out of a handful of 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 Donruss packs. That's got to be a big card. Dude, that's a monster card. I'm like, dude, are you sure you want to do that? Like that you could you could sell that for some serious money. He's like, "No, man, I don't care about any of that." I'm telling yeah, you, this Brian's is I, good. I, Brian's a good dude, man. Dude, just amazing. I'm I'm I am never I, I it's it's never, you know, surprise me how great people are in this hobby so he sent my yeah. kid uh, a while back uh a nice uh ronaldo patch oh, card dude like nice. sick sick like dirt on the jersey and everything like just sick my kid was like in heaven nice so he's a good dude good stuff man yeah so those are my pickups for the week all right uh i got a few uh, I actually only have three, but I'm down. I had five. I sent two to SGC this morning. Uh, so first one, this came in today. 2015 SP Authentic. Linus Olmark, goalie for the Boston Bruins. Uh, Future Watch Auto. This is the limited version. This is out of 100. So nice. not as popular as like the regular Future Watch Auto, which is out of 999, which is kind of odd. Uh, 999. Yeah. Yeah, but that's on uh, card though, man. That's solid. Yeah, it is. Yep. Uh then I got another auto in from Tops. Marcelo Mayer, prospect, top prospect for the Boston Red Sox. Uh auto here. This is uh 2021 Bowman Chrome Draft or Bowman Draft Chrome, I should say. Uh nice. class 21 auto numbered out of 250. What is it with so, these kids and these signatures, man? Yeah, they're lazy. They're just not lazy. putting any effort. Yeah, they're all on Chromebooks. And then I got this beast. Oh, man. This one. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. So this, this is uh, out of 2021 SP Game Used Hockey. This is a Brad Marshan Lake Tahoe net card. And that's actually a piece of the goal from the game. Wow. The goalie net. That's insane. Uh, number, number nine, 25. It's a sick card. It's, Dude, it's one of the sickest things I own now. Just like uh, uh, talk about a relic, right? Yep. Like yep. that is what a relic is supposed to be. Yep. Yep. So that's like right in my wheelhouse. So uh Good. and then I had Good. I had a 61 Whitey Ford and a 76 Nolan Ryan uh that were sent out to SGC from my boy Jay Wilson that was on the other night with us. You know what I need to do? I need to um I think Bobbles has a cutoff coming up here pretty soon, February. February second. Yeah, I might just send these over to him. Believe it or not, I've never subbed with Bobbles for as much as I talk about him and really? as much as yeah, I've never I've never done a sub with him. So I think that's what I'm gonna do this time around. Yeah, Bobbles is the best. Oh, I know. I just saw the I just saw the sub that he did for January. Massive. Yeah, I can't I forgot all about that. Totally missed it. Yeah. Actually I have some Pokemon stuff that I need to send off too. And right now that's what, twelve bucks? Something like that? Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. I need to do that. And now I got my Kurtz stuff too, so I can use that to clean up those cards because those Pokemon cards I got are pretty old. Yeah. A little first first uh first gen action on uh, some Pokemon cards. I have all the um the legendary birds, the um uh what is it called? Um god dog it. Uh, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and there's one more in there that I can't think off the top. You know what you're talking about. You have no clue what the hell. About. <laughs> nothing. I'm talking Means... about mufflers. <laughs> Means nothing to you. It's like if I start talking F1, you're like, "What the hell are you talking about?" Yeah, huh? It's like when I talk hockey. That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, I think. Uh, Moving on here, you want to talk about the app? I think you should talk about the app because All you right. have done an extensive amount of yeah. um, beta testing on there. I've been watching the group chat where you guys have been going back and forth. You've been given a lot of feedback. Um, and uh, I think we're – well, I'll, I'll let you talk about it. Go ahead. 
Yeah, so I, I uh, we are about two weeks, maybe. We're submitting for approval uh, to Apple on Monday. Yep. Uh, so we are very, very, very close. What? Uh, That's so exciting, man. Couple, of, I, I've sent it out to a couple of people to, or River has sent it out to a couple of people to test. Um, really, 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 really good reviews from everybody. Um, every, yeah. you know, it, it, it I think it's going to be, uh, it's, it's, it's a really well done, really, you know, it's got, an, it's got plenty of stuff in there for you to do your homework and, and whatnot. Yeah. Got the image thing where you can take the picture of the card, um, graded cards, not raw, but graded cards. And also not just PSA and BGS, the only, as far as I know, ones that can do SGC and CSG as well. So nice. we get at least four. I don't know if we have HGA, but so I know we, we I know we're probably the only ones that track HGA on our yeah. platform yeah i don't know if that the image thing works that's a you know what? i need to find that out but i know yeah, for a should... fact we will have psa bgs H, G, uh, sgc and, and csg nice. so that's pretty cool uh it, it's a really really solid well done app uh and it's it's gonna i can't wait i'm excited to get it in the hands of, of lots of people so yeah um so stay you know, tuned, folks. Right? That. I mean, we got we got not, yeah, not only couple weeks, you know, couple we're weeks. submitting right now, right? Which is you know we're we're done with our beta testing. We feel uh, yep. you, you and River feel really good about you know the functionality yep. of it. Everything's working smoothly like it's supposed to. Um, yeah, it's really that's the thing. There's right? no glitching. There's no glitches. There was you know a couple things here or there we had to you know fix whatever, but nothing crazy. Right. Um, the design is well done. Uh, the flow is well done. Uh, and it'll just continue to evolve as we release, yeah. you know, updates and things like that. It, it's just going to be for us as a company, it's going to be huge. So. Yeah, dude. Uh, so we got, I mean, it, like, like I said, the, the, the submitting to Apple and getting the approval is kind of the first step, right. In what we're doing, uh, you know, from there it, it's, you know, this is where we're going to start launching, right. I mean, we're going to start doing more and more content using the app. We're going to start pushing it out there a lot more. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear a lot about it on the channel, on this channel, on yep. JD's channel, uh, on all of our uh, Instagrams and, and social media pages uh, where we're going to be using the app a lot to drive a lot of that content. Um, and, dude, I, I can't I can't wait because, you know, now, you know, I got the Houston uh, card show coming up in a couple of weeks, I think. And then um, also the Dallas card show again, the next Dallas card show, which I think is in March um, coming up. So just a lot of good opportunity to get out there, field test it, use it yep. in the field and, and, and uh, kind of use it for its intended purpose. Right. You're like, you're at a, you're at a yep. card table at a card show and you're like, dang, I want to see what the, what the comps are. Boom. Take a picture of the graded card and you're off and running. Right. So, <coughs> a lot, a lot more to come to that uh, about that. And then uh, just as the weeks go on, uh, when we actually pick an official launch date, we'll let everybody know. And yep. then uh, we'll obviously give you all the details We'll probably um, start putting up. Uh, I know one thing I want to do also is start putting up some tutorials and things like that on how to use it. I'm going to yep. set up a specific playlist on the channel so that folks can go in there and uh, and kind of watch and kind of walk through some of the steps and how to do certain things. Because there's, again, yep. the full functionality of the website is essentially on this app now, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So yep. anything that you've been able to do on the website, if you're already a member tracking your portfolio and doing all that stuff. I think the marketplace thing is all in there as well. I know that's something yep. that you guys were working on. Yeah. So very exciting stuff, man. Very exciting. Yeah, stuff. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Yeah. Yeah. Been that's, a long that's... time coming, man. So yeah, I know. So. I mean, I know I just, I just came on board what maybe about five, six months ago, uh, officially. Right. I mean, I've been, obviously I've been uh, with you guys for quite some time, but even then, I mean, that's something that you and I have been talking about for a while, how, you know, yep. the next big thing was the, was the app and, yep. it, and here we are, right. And, and about ready to kick this thing off. So. All right, stuff, man. Good episode. Man. Talk. Good. To you All right. Week. Thanks everybody. Yeah. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that, that was our shameless plug. That was our shameless plug. No, you know what? I'm so, not even ashamed of the plugs anymore, especially not me either. To do with that. We don't do actually, we don't do enough of it. We um, don't do enough of it. By the way, folks, if you guys haven't already, the link is down in the description, cardhedger.com. Sign up. 
You won't regret it. You can check comps for free. We don't even charge you to check comps for free. If you're at a card show, you need to check a comp real quick. Cardhedger.com. You can jump on there and check it for free. But if you guys sign up for that for that uh, monthly service, I mean, portfolio, you can keep track of your entire collection. We got card prices uh, off the top of your head. eBay. Um, who, who are PWCC? Who are PWCC. EBay. My slabs, my slabs, and golden, eBay. Golden. golden. I mean, yep. all the top two, auction houses. We got two co two coming in the pipeline. Hopefully, arena. We can grab theirs too when that starts. Yep. yep, that'll be a third. So we've got some. We've got we've got some some new data sources coming as well, which I think is going to be very nice. Yeah. Um, almost four hundred thousand yep. individual cards in our database. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting close. We'll have four hundred thousand by. If not, probably Saturday night. Dude, that's insane. We're at 396 right now. And then you've actually onboarded a couple of people that are helping you get more of those cards in there. So, I mean, it, it, that number is yeah. just... Yeah, so I have... I added two, two, two dudes, Brian, who sent you those cards. And, oh, right on. Uh, Jay Wilson, who was on with us uh, doing hockey and soccer specifically. So those will Dude. continue to grow. Love it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, it's... it's uh. It's a big help. Those guys are a big help. Um, kind of doing it on their own time too, which is nice. Awesome. Um, so always love a good volunteer effort, you know? Hey man. So love it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, all so, right. Let's talk, man. Cause you know, it's great. We can talk about the card hedge or all night card hedge, whatever. Um, you've got a controversial topic to talk about tonight. And <laughs> I, <laughs> One that I think will divide this hobby forever. Um, and definitely bring out the trolls in the comments. So oh, sure. I'm, I'm super excited for all of the, uh, <laughs> all the experts to leave their opinions. So, uh, but we're going to move on to football. As we mentioned earlier in the, the uh, introduction, we, we have two big uh, championship games this weekend. We have the San Francisco 49ers taking on the crappy Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, and then in the AFC, we've got the Chiefs, perennial uh, wannabe Patriots, and we have the Cincinnati Bengals, who are about to take over the AFC. So, Mr. Mr. Retro Hoops uh, and I got into an argument uh, <laughs> last night, the night before that, and the night before that, and then probably the night before that. Um, he, he thinks Brock Purdy is the second coming of friggin' Tom Brady. Mike Vick. Like, like not even Tom Brady, like Mike Vick. Mike Vick. Okay. Um, and that's an insult to Mike Vick because Brock Purdy is no Mike Vick. <laughs> um, I have already washed him away. Yeah. As he is going into the city of brotherly love where he will have batteries thrown at him, more insults thrown his way That's um, true. than ever before. That's true. Um, Those Philadelphia guys are just a different breed. The, the Philly defense uh, is arguably the best defense in the NFL. But on the flip side of that, the 49ers aren't a slouch. Exactly. So, so folks. Our boy Omar here went out and did a little, dare I say, speculation. I, I did some speculating. That's very true. And bought himself some Brock Purdy cards. I did. I did. And I did so yeah, in probably I, the I most. I don't even know this guy anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who, who would have thunk it, right? I mean, like I, I did like a whole video on this because it, it, was, a, it was a moment where. It's a like, moment of weakness. I don't even want to call it a moment of weakness. It was a, a moment crime of passion. Like, yeah, exactly. That's what it was. I got I got jazzed up and I got fired up, especially yep. after they beat the uh after after they beat the the Cowboys, which really isn't saying much, by the way. Um, and, and to be honest with you, he didn't really perform that well in that in that uh in that game either. I don't think he did anything in that game. But I mean, Dallas has a legit D too, man. Michael Parsons exactly. is a goddamn animal. Exactly. And and the funny part was is that Michael Parsons did his job. The problem was is that Dak didn't do his. Um and so I just I, I got caught up in that moment, right? And and I started to kind of feel silly a little bit that I got caught up in that moment, right? I started to feel kind of stupid. Like I immediately like I bought all those cards. 
I, I, I look. <laughs> not only did I get caught up in the hype and I bought cards, but I did so in a manner that I felt was probably the best way that you can do it, right? Which is to really find them, try to try to dig and go through some sources that are outside of the norm, uh, outside of eBay, um, and and get them for a decent price. I mean, I I think I I end up buying like four of them uh, total, and on average, <laughs> I think my average cost for all four of them was like forty dollars shipped and everything to my yep. house so um you know i bought under comps i did i did as about as good as you can do in one of those like um you know uh, uh passionate <laughs> moments right but i quickly was like you know what i don't even know why i'm feeling silly because i i i really wanted to buy them to kind of just like commemorate this moment in time in football right because this is unprecedented wow. Right, I mean, it's completely unprecedented. This kid was the last pick in the draft. That's not unprecedented. Tom Brady already did this. No, but uh, Tom Brady was not the last pick in the draft. He was like the second to last. It's the same damn thing. Was he really? Was he that? I, I thought he, he was like he, maybe he, like he middle was... of the pack quarterback. Hang on, hang on. Oh no, I don't think so. I don't think Brady was second to last pick in the draft. Hundred and ninety ninth overall, sixth round. So, wasn't the. He wasn't he wasn't the last pick is the seven rounds in the NFL draft. So okay still. But this kid was literally Mr. Irrelevant, right? All right. All right. Which means fine. That I'll e- give you that. Which means All that right. so every you know team passed on him, right? Everybody. And now yep. this kid comes in, wins two. I said one, but two, two playoff games, and 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 has done really well in, in his last starts. I think he's he's undefeated as a starter, is he not? His uh I don't know. I, I don't know. The kid is undefeated as a starter. He, okay, so he played in week seven against the Chiefs, but they lost that game. Uh, and I don't think he came in throughout the whole game, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was – it wasn't that the game where Jimmy G got hurt and then the other guy got hurt and then they had to put him in, like at the very end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But since he's since he started week thirteen against the Dolphins, they won. Against the Bucks, they won. Against the Seahawks, they won. Against the uh, Commanders, which whatever Redskins, whatever, they won. Against the Raiders, they won. Against the Cardinals, they won. <coughs> it's like you know, th- this Dude, kid his, is he's undefeated. This is insanity. His cards are like <laughs> they're going crazy, crazy. The, I mean, I think if, I if we it. look, you at, know what, you know what I love. This 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 thing we call a hobby never ceases, never stops amazing me. Like crazy, crazy. So I'm pu- I'm pulling this up. I'm pulling this up because just the, I mean the volume is insane. So 150 cards is Trevor Lawrence's volume, and he's number two. Brock Purdy in the last seven days, based on all the sources that we pull from, has sold 281 cards. And I'm telling you right now, his base card, there's hundreds of sales sending their best offer. Oh, yeah, for sure. That that we weeded out, right? Because we can't yeah. confirm the price. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, I yeah, can confirm them. I just gotta I gotta do it manually. Yeah, you gotta go there's in there and do it manually. Hundreds, hundreds of sales. Yeah, it's insane, man. I mean, the, the usually if we look at the top selling cards, usually the top seller in a seven day period sells anywhere between 140 and 160 cards, roughly. That's what it's been over yep. the last couple of weeks or the last couple of months. You know, and 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 that oftentimes sometimes it's a football card, sometimes it's a basketball card, sometimes it's a baseball card, whatever the case may be. But it's usually it hovers around 140, 160. Brock Purdy is at 281 for the last seven days. People are going Damn. insane for this kid. And here's the other Damn. thing that kind of made me feel a little bit better. Number one is I said, okay, I'm buying it because I want to buy it. I'm not buying it because of the hype. The hype may be what drove me to buy the card, but I'm not buying it for the hype. I bought it because of the hype, right? So th- th- I think those are two very big distinctions. But if you look at what Vegas what the Vegas odds are for this game on Saturday or uh, Sunday, right? Sunday. Yep. What Vegas has is the odds. They have Philadelphia and two and a half points. 
which means that Vegas is Vegas themselves is calling this to be a very very close game. Which and, I took I took the Eagles by the way. Well, of course you did. Why wouldn't you? But you got to hope they cover. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's two and a half, bro. Like that's that's nothing. Yep. It might get to a field goal between now and Sunday, but I mean, if anybody is hardly ever wrong, it's Vegas, and. That says something, in my opinion. That really says something, especially since yeah. the fact that both teams are coming in with extraordinary defenses. Both of them are really good in terms of their defense. They are, both have weapons. It's basically coming down to Brock and Jalen Hurts, right? And yep. you can make an argument that Jalen Hurts has you know, had an MVP caliber type season. And if you're picking between those two guys, you're taking Jalen Hurts all, all day, right? But Brock Purdy is a complete unknown. This kid, we we have no idea what this kid's ceiling is, and you know, come Sunday, it's gonna be the kid's either gonna make history or, you know, I'm be, <coughs> I'm gonna be stuck with 120 dollars worth of worthless cards or 140 dollars worth of worthless cards. Would we'll you see. pay a thousand dollars for his rookie blue mosaic rookie autograph? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And that's where I draw the line, right? Shout out to my boy Victor, by the way, because Victor feels beyond this. He understands what I'm saying when I tell him when I when I when I talked about in that video, where I said I bought it because it's it's a moment in history that I want to remember. And 10, 15 years when I pull that card up, and somebody goes, "Who the hell is Brock Purdy?" I'm like, "Oh man, let me tell you about Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy won the goddamn Super Bowl the year that he got drafted in the last place in the draft." Oh, that's I mean, story I to talk about, about that. But well, I mean, you know what I'm saying, though. I mean, the kid's got a he's he's got a pretty big rise going on right now, and that's I mean, okay. It, it, if he loses, <laughs> I'll eat my crow. Well done. It's all good. No big deal. It's still going in my PC, and it's still going to be a card to talk about. You know. All right. We'll all see. Right. I'll, uh, I think you're a little salty that 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 the Eagles beat the dog snot out of your uh out of your Giants. I yeah, think that's well, why you. I, I yeah, why you can't. Were, I, I, knew that. I, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting the Giants to. to I would imagine that you would actually be rooting for this kid a lot more than you actually are, because you you'd be hoping for the upset. Especially just so you could rub it and lose face like that. I would imagine that. Yeah, would be because good. it's not you the know? same anymore, right? Like, like the Forty ers are legit. I mean, they got McCaffrey. They yeah. got Debo. I love Debo. He's probably my favorite football player. I love McCaffrey. Saquon. I think McCaffrey's right? legit. Yeah. Um, and then Kittle, Kittle woke up like mid season. I don't yeah. know how the hell that happened. Yeah, they're a good team. I mean, they yeah. really are. And they yeah. have who's the other guy they got there? Uh, the other wide out. Uh, uh, you, you're making me go off of memory here. Give me a second. Debo. Oh my God. I'm on my fantasy team. Uh, wow. I can't even believe I'm drawing a, a blank. Um, but regardless, they're a solid, solid team. Are you solid. Yeah, Brandon Ayuk. Um, um, yeah, Ayuk. Ayuk. Ayuk is the other one. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, listen, th- San Francisco certainly has a shot. It's not even like you know this is going to be a dog fight. Yeah, I uh, think so too. It, it, it'll be come. It'll come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes. I think Philly's going to try to try to go. You know, a couple big plays here or there. That's what they've been known yeah. for. Yeah. Um, does does San Fran's defense get after? hurts they they certainly can they're nasty yeah yeah um and and what does philly's defense do to purdy and playing on the road like that that place is gonna be nuts yeah uh he, he yeah they get behind it's over i think yeah of course get behind. Well, it's like what it's like what river said right like what, what's gonna happen when he throws that first pick right like is he gonna bounce back is it gonna really mess with him and then it's all downhill from there like we haven't seen you know how that kid works in that kind of a situation you know I mean, he's thrown a couple of interceptions before, but nothing on the level of what it's going to be for this win or go home type situation, right? Yeah, but no, I, it's when they win, though, like, I'll be ready to to offload a couple of these cards to make my money back, and then keep one for the for the PC for sure. Four four of the top five selling cards right now on volume are quarterbacks: Purdy, Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Joe Lawrence. Burrow, yeah. Julio Rodriguez, and then Joe Burrow again. Yeah, yeah. Both of Joe Burrow's mosaic, cards, right? It's interesting. His mosaic 
base is is has sold uh, like 15 more than his prism well here's here's uh, the other interesting thing about uh brock purdy in terms of a rookie card he has i think maybe four rookie cards right yeah he like, that's many. it it's mosaic obviously there's some parallels in mosaic mosaic certified um What's the other Probably got like a prestige or something. I don't know. Yeah, something, something like that. It's like two two other ones, but I mean, nobody's printing, nobody's printing, doing big print runs of Mister Irrelevant, right? I mean, ever. Right. You know, you print right. them just for the for the hype, but you know, after that, I yeah. I mean, that that's that could be another thing too that's helping to drive the prices, right? He doesn't it. have a lot, so there's none out there. Yeah. Um, you I know, mean, look at I Joe Burrow. Know, Joe me, Burrow's got two of uh, two of them up here. Right. Joe Burrow is nasty. Um, I actually think I have a Jamar Chase uh, coming back in my PSA order. Jamar Chase, huh? Now that I think, I think I might. I think I have. I, I I'm gonna I have might. to start digging through my stuff as well and start kind of pulling out because I know I got a bunch of Trevor Lawrence, but it's um, it's uh, Trevor Lawrence Chronicles, like Chronicle rookie cards. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. don't always do. They don't always do a whole lot, but. Um, yeah. It's still worth. Here's the funny thing about base rookie cards, right? Like, I mean, like a Trevor Lawrence and a Joe Burrow. I got a ton of those, but they're all chronicles, right? And even though they weren't worth a damn when I pulled them, you know, last year, the year before that, um, I still have them. They're stashed. I can probably get rid of all of them and then buy like one good solid rookie card. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what I mean? And just yep. you know, flip them, flip them, and then you know, pick up like a really nice. Yeah, I mean, easily they're, they're probably like a five dollar card, right? Yeah, exactly. That's so, my point, right? And if I got fifteen, twenty of them, right? Oh, you know, right so, now that's that's all I've been doing on eBay lately is selling cheap cards, man. They, they sometimes they, it, it's odd. Like one day I'll sell ten, the next day I'll sell one, then I'll sell ten, then yeah. I'll sell one, then I sell seven, then you know, it's like so, uh, and it's all like I've been listening all sports i mean so it's uh i got a nice variety up there but yeah it's just consistent you know whatever i don't know man I, for me like it like the 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 brock purdy thing doesn't uh <coughs> doesn't, move doesn't the needle do for much you? for me now football football like i i do i do like burrow i do like jamar chase uh um, yeah so i like those two dudes but again like in an instant their career could be over. Oh yeah, um, of course, especially Chase. You know, right? You I know. mean, the the shelf life on those guys is what three, four right. years. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, you know, uh, I don't know, I don't know, uh, you know. But hey, it's good though. I mean, listen, the cards are cards are moving at, like an epic, like not an epic clip, but cards are moving. Like it's not even. Yeah. Uh, you know, seven day sales are up a percent. Forty six million dollars has moved in the last seven days of cards we're tracking. Insane, man. <clears throat> you know, uh, there's been you know like up twelve percent of the top ten card sales. Like, like the transaction volume is actually down a percent. But there's still been of what we've matched perfectly, six hundred and three thousand transactions. Six hundred and three. That's insane. And just the last seven days. And and folks, this is just stuff that we know that we've verified, right? Like things that yep. we've verified. There's a bunch of stuff out there that's yep. moved, cards that have sold on other platforms that we're not that we're not chasing yep. or that we're not collecting data for yet, right? Um, but it's I mean, probably a. 400,000 sales just sitting there that we got to put in. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. like, that's what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> cards are moving, man. The, 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 this, this hobby is, is not going anywhere. It's not no. going away. No. Um, you know, if anything, it's, it's better than it's ever been. Um, and it's got nothing to do with, with sales prices or things like that. There's a lot yeah. of people in it. There's a yeah. lot of people that have stuck around for the right reasons and things have kind of leveled off. Yeah. Agreed. And now it's, you know, kind of, this is what it's at and it's, it's okay. You know? Yeah. And then, and then not to mention, I mean, 
what has happened over the last 18 to 20 months in terms of like opening up the hobby to like a larger demographic due to social media now, as well as like all these companies. I mean, uh, shout out to uh, my boy Rahul over at uh, IAH just did the video on uh, how Fanatics is creating an entire position for somebody to deal with uh, how they're going to use influencers to market Fanatics, right? I mean, like yeah. they're, they're they're serious, like they're they're really getting into this, right? And they're they're really putting some money into uh, you know advertising, marketing through the right channels, and um, you know just offering more and more and more uh you know things to the public and to the hobby that are going to be beneficial to everybody i mean that's what we're yep. doing too with card heads right is just trying to give people tools to further enjoy the hobby and, and to make yep. good decisions so that they can have some enjoyment in the hobby not feel like they got ripped off or anything like that yep. and there's and no there's no yeah. right way no wrong way to do that right At there's all. no wrong way or or right way to collect uh right you know everybody has their their thing and uh yeah, I mean, I think with that, it's a perfect transition to uh, our next topic, which is insert sets. So, like, here's the deal, folks. You know, we we, we talk, you know, sometimes we just talk and whatever comes to our heads and, and we go on and things like that. And, and that's great. And then there's other times where we, we talk about, you know, grading and, you know, that's easy. You can talk about that literally oh, yeah. all the that's time. That's easy pickings. Um, but we're going to start focusing every episode with just some different sets, insert sets, sets, whatever, um, yeah. each show we're each going to have a pick kind of like our, 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 you know, mail days that we do, yep. uh, and just kind of highlight different sets that are out there that each one of us finds interesting, um, uh, and give a little bit of reasons why, uh, and, uh, Kind of, kind of just go from there, you know. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go first because okay. you have a good one. I do uh, have a good one. So, um, it's funny because as me and JD were kind of doing the little bit of prep that we do for these for these sets or for, for these uh, conversations, you know, he said, "Hey, I really would like to start talking about basketball sets or or just uh, uh, insert sets, not even basketball, just insert sets." And I, the first thing I told him was like, dude, get out of my head, man. Cause like, that's literally today I was doing some, just kind of some digging around because I, I really want to start highlighting some sets um, in depth uh, on the channel. And so this is going to be, this is kind of a really good segue into all of that. But um, you know what JD was talking about in terms of, of, of insert sets, I think, especially for nineties and early two thousands, What's becoming really important is the insert sets. Everybody talks about the junk wax era and all that stuff, but I think it, I think it's specifically because of that junk wax era that people tend to forget that in that junk wax era was some amazing insert sets, right, for all sports. Yep. And um, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about one of my favorites, and this is um, I'm gonna go in like I said I'm gonna go in depth into it uh, in a different in a separate video, but uh, but just to bring it up here, the 1993. 94 Fleer Ultra insert sets or just just that set overall right the the that that uh product um produced some of uh, the, the amount of iconic insert sets that that product produced completely slipped my mind i knew you you always know of like the heavy hitters right um but if you really start looking at the number of, of of insert sets that are in this there's a total of like a dozen i think one two total of 13 insert sets that are in this and this was the first year if i'm not mistaken a fleer ultra uh i don't think they did 92 93 because that would have been Shaq. um let me double check what i'm talking about here no i don't think i think i think 92 93 was the first year um that they did yeah. it and that one, even the sets in that one weren't kind of like the greatest. I mean, there was still a handful of sets, but not as many. Uh, and some of them actually made it into the next year's set. But still, yep. that 9394 Fleer Ultra produced a total of about a dozen insert sets. And I'm gonna I'm gonna rattle them off here real quick. And and those of you who remember these sets are gonna go, dang, that's right. So the biggest one, obviously, is gonna be the power in the key set. I've been chasing that set for a long time. 
Such an amazing set. That's the first year that they did Power in the Key. Rebound Kings, Scoring Kings, Jam City, Inside Outside, Famous Nicknames is the other one that was a big set. Uh, and then they had a couple of other sets in there for the all defensive team, all NBA team, all rookie team. And then they had an all rookie insert set. And when you stop and look at that, it's like, holy crap, man. Just that power in the key set, the famous nickname set, the Jam City set, the inside outside set. Those are four iconic sets in the 90s period. And if you're chasing any of those, I mean, really go try to find some in good condition. They are pricey right now yep. because everybody's starting to remember how great these sets were and yep. people should not be sleeping on that 93 94 flair ultra set there's a reason why those series one boxes because you got to get that series one box that series one box is the one that has all the inserts in it the series two box is the one that has all the all the uh, rookies in it so that's kind of how they used to split them up back in yep. the day yep. but it, that series one box right now is still selling for about five six hundred bucks on wow. ebay and the Series 2 set subsequently, which doesn't really have a lot of the inserts. It still gets some inserts, but you get more rookies than anything. Uh, I think that one's down like in the $300 range, just because you could still hit some some uh, out of that set. But, man, when you said when you said insert sets, dude, that, that was the first one that popped into my mind. And it's just a great set, man. It's just a great set. Yeah. I am fortunate enough to have the entire... Um, uh, set for uh for the power and the key that's like one of the first things that i chased whenever i got back yep. into the mix um but i mean there's still a ton there's a lot of work to be done there uh and and i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna get started i think i mentioned it last time that i'm gonna get started with famous nicknames yeah uh, and then i'm gonna go from there but there's just no better set right now in my opinion what do you uh who do you have for the famous nicknames so far uh so I think we talked about it last week, right? Is how do I go about putting the sets together? Um, and I have to get the Jordan first. So I haven't picked up anything yet. Yeah. I, have a bunch, I have a bunch on my watch list that once I get my hands on a really good condition, uh, Michael Jordan, which is, I think his was, uh, I don't remember if it was Air Jordan or just Air. I think it's just Air. Um once I get my hands on that Jordan, then everything else can kind of take place after that. But even after that, we're still talking about Shaq, Dream. Actually, lies. I think I have a Dream already. Um, obviously, uh, but there's. I mean, look, look. There's so many great guys in just that set. We got Charles Barkley, Muggsy Bowes, Derek Coleman, Clyde Drexler, Penny Hardaway, Larry Johnson, Big Grandmama. For those of you that remember Larry Johnson, uh, Tony Kukoc. I didn't even know that his nickname was the Pink Panther. I don't I didn't know that either. Where the hell that came from. And here's the other one that really kind of kicked me in the nuts. Harold Miner is in this set. And those of you who know who Harold Miner is know that you guys that they used to call Harold Miner Baby Jordan. Yeah, Baby and, Jordan. And, yeah, Baby Jordan. And Harold Miner in this set, his nickname is Baby Jordan. So that's that's pretty interesting. Oh, really? they call, yeah, they call him Baby Jordan. His card says Baby Jordan, and Michael Jordan is in this set as well, which is which is hilarious. Um, Alonzo Mourning, Hakeem Olajuwon, Big Shaq, the Admirable, the Admiral David Robinson, and then uh, Dominique Wilkins, the Human Highlight Reel. Just, I mean, it's just dope, man. Like, I, I wish we would do cards like this again. Like, you know, I wish, I wish Panini would get their shit together and put out something like that. Or I have, I have the Jordan. Nine. I think in a PSA nine. Really. That's a yeah. that's a hell of a grade for that card, man. Because yeah, the other thing about right. this set is sticking, like the stickage. Yep. Oh, it's so and bad. The chipping so and every the edge. Exactly, and... exactly. Especially when you're talking about a set like the Power in the Key set, which is a very heavy oh, foil. Yeah. Those set. are even. Those are those are brutal for the chipping. It's the worst, man. But yep. hands down, ninety three, ninety four, my favorite of all time product, just because it's produced so many sets. Nice. And, uh, yeah, that's my vote for this week. All right. Uh, can I? I can't share, can I? Uh, you may be able to. I need to figure out how to make. Oh, yeah, I right. can. You Hang can, on. right? Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. You All right. Be able so to. mine. I'm going. Can you see this? Uh, I can see it. All right. I'm going 1996 Bowman's Best Preview Baseball. Oh, um, 
believe it's a 30 card set, uh, but 90 total cards because there's a base card, then there's a refractor, and then there's an atomic refractor of each card. Um, 96 you know, Bowman. I'm trying to let me see that Griffey. Like, I, I just I've always liked this set. Um, you know, the, the, the atomic refractors, especially. Um, I'm gonna start with the atomics. Um, you know, these are just pretty cards, pretty cards. Um, again, it's not crazy. Um, I have a few already. Uh, so you know, again, like, you know, you're gonna have PSA 10s, 100 bucks, Cal Ripken. Um, and again, the, the pops aren't, aren't crazy, crazy high. Um, they don't sell very, very often, as you can see by the sales volumes here, you know, maybe one, one a week, like it's, yep. it's looking here. I mean, even Griffey is what two. So these are atomic refractors. Um, so that, that's where I'm going. Uh, baseball. Bowman's best. Believe yeah. it or not, right? Let me 30 stop card sharing. set. Chipper Jones, Alan yep. Baines, Barry Bonds is in here, Mike Piazza, yep. Tony yep. Wynn, Frank Thomas, Big Hurt is in here, Greg Maddox, Derek Jeter, Jeff Bagwell, Houston yep. legend. I mean, Barry if you, you grew up in the 90s, it's like all the dudes. It's, it's oh, yeah. like everybody. So it, it's one of those things for me where even if I just do the Atomics, it's 30 cards, right? Yeah, 30 um, cards. Baseball's got a ton of insert sets um, that I just they're, – they're, there's a lot of them that are pretty cheap. Um, and what I'm doing is, you know, I kind of I kind of really want to get these things in a nine or a bet in, or better. Um, yeah, especially in the – I'm going to buy them all – great. I've decided to. I'm buying them all graded. Um, oh, okay. I don't want to – I don't want yep. to take the the risks. Yeah, it's not even the risk. It's just more so like I'm going to be honest with you. I got a real problem with waiting. Um, <laughs> so like I don't want to send them off and just sit around and wait. Right. Um, I'd rather just buy it already graded, have yeah. it, then I can look at it um, and do my thing. Right. Um, and I just I just feel that with everything that's going on, uh, there's just tons and tons and tons of value in 90 sports cards uh whether it's baseball basketball football hockey there, there's so much out there um that people forgot about don't talk about whatever um and, and for me like those are the things i'm doing like i i put together a set already it should hopefully be coming back from psa next month um, you know, I get some other stuff that I'm, I'm trying to put together here and there, whatever. Uh, but you know, it's it just having Hideo, fun. Uh, I'm looking I, at the checklist that, on this, it's insane, dude. Yeah. Hideo, no, yeah. no more Garcia Parra, yeah, 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 yep. all Ripken. guys, like, yep. So it's like when you, when you think about. When I, when I buy a card that's solely a flip, yeah, like that Zion we both bought, that rat turd, right? I, I I don't like, I don't have like a like a, I don't know. It's just like I I know I bought it to just either use it to trade, sell, whatever, right? Share there, whatever. There's no connection. Um, yeah, but like as I'm I, I'm getting in these cards, like these cards I showed earlier for my mail day and stuff, like these are guys that like. Like my teams, so yeah, I have that connection to them. Those guys in the '90s, that's I was a kid. That's yeah. the guys I watched. You know, um, those are the guys I, I idolized and, and was like, damn. Um, and I've also really started to trickle back into vintage baseball. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, the problem with that for me is being such a baseball fan. I'll just get lost and I'll never come out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? You'll go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> yep. I've, 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 I've tried to buy a few different KGs over the last couple of weeks. Uh, <laughs> people are just being unrealistic. Yeah. Unrealistic. And it's not like there's 
like one sale of a card at a certain price, right? There's multiple sales that are hundreds of dollars less than yeah. what the card is listed at. And offering that same price should get the deal done. Right. But when you come back $400 higher, that's insane. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's frustrating. So I, I'm kind of pumping the brakes on basketball right now for a little bit. Yeah. Um, and, and kind of going baseball and hockey. That's, that's what I'm doing. So, well, off season uh, right now, baseball, hockey, right? Or no, hockey's still going, right? No, hockey's in full swing, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even had the all star break yet. Oh, wow. That's coming up. Baseball spring training will start in uh good probably two weeks, maybe two, three weeks. So baseball is right around the corner. Um, you know, but for me, it's just I, I, I want to spend my money on things that are gonna bring me joy. And what's really yeah. cool now is like my son is really starting to get taken interest in stuff, like he's really starting to like ask me questions about like the different athletes. And then like, he's big into collecting Pokemons, which is hysterical. Yeah. Um, I bought him a couple packs and, and a, like some box the other day. And he was like, uh, he hit like a card. I don't even know what the hell it was, but it's like, if it's in like a PSA 10, it's like a 75 to a hundred dollar card. Wow. I was like, damn good. Kid. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he did all right. You know, um, he's got him in his top loaders and he's got his little binder thing and, you know, he looks yeah. at him and stuff and I'm like laughing because I'm like, man, there, there is little JD right there. That's so, it right there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That, Both of my kids cool. have uh, yep. Pokemon binders and stuff like that. Yep. And same scenario. My brother too. He knows now, you know, like, Hey, you know, if you guys, you know, had a good week at school or whatever, my brother will stop yep. by with, you know, a couple packs yep. and stuff like that. And they'll just go nuts, you know? Yeah. And he's always asking every day, can we go to the card shop? It was card shop. <laughs> like, dude, slow your roll. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, hey man, these things ain't free, buddy. You know? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's like 50 bucks a whack. I'm like, dude. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you're if you're looking for like some of the new stuff now. Because my brother, well, not not uh my brother that lives close by, it's uh, my other my youngest brother. He's he's the big Pokemon guy for out of out of the three of us. And uh you know, occasionally we'll be at Walmart and there'll be a bunch of stuff and I'll take a picture. I'll go, hey, man, anything good? And, oh, yeah, no, that one's trash. That one's trash. Oh, shit. You know what? Grab that one. That's a good one right yeah. there. You know, you're chasing this or chasing that or whatever. And, yeah. um, you know, open up a couple packs with the kids and stuff like that. They get all jazzed up. And that's yeah. that's what I want. I want them to get. Yep. I don't care what it is. Like yep. I bought a, I bought a box of Fortnite cards. I was at um, the Dallas card show and I think I had them out there yep. for like 40 bucks for the whole box. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, this is gonna be dope, man. Me and my son had a blast opening that up because it connected yeah. him to like he's like, yep. oh man, I didn't even know that there was Fortnite cars. I'm like, yeah, yeah, buddy, yeah. Fortnite. yeah. So now he's all jazzed yeah. up and stuff, and just getting yeah. them collecting, man, because I know they're gonna get into sports. Yep. My oldest, my oldest is a baseball kid. My middle, my middle one, he's into football. So I know they're gonna get in there, and once they get in yeah. there, then it's like, hey, yeah, by yeah, the way, yeah, 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 come on over yep. here, buddy. Yep. You know? Absolutely, man. And that's what it's all Absolutely. about. Dude. Just get them started and getting them, getting them to go. Oh man, this is cool. I can collect this and I can look at this. And it's like, yep. You know, one day they'll be talking about it just like we're talking about it now, where they're like, "Man, I used to watch that dude as a kid." Yeah, yeah. You know? Yep. Absolutely. That's well. that's one hundred percent what it's all about. For sure. Get, get that so. next generation in there. You know. Yep. Absolutely. They're ultimately going to have to carry this on. So. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Yeah, like well, man. Uh, about inserts, you know, so. I, I know we maybe weren't as lively, maybe as uh, we 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 are in some of our other episodes. But uh, next couple of weeks, we've got a couple of guests, so That's that'll be cool. Lined up. Yeah. Um, excited for both of those people to come on, and yeah, uh, yeah, keep it going, keep the momentum going. You know, thank you to everybody that listens and, and yeah. comments, and uh, whether you disagree, agree, or whatever, it's all good. You know, not, not it right. doesn't. I don't hold any grudges on anybody. I think it's all great debate to have. So uh, it's all good conversation. Continue. Yeah, it's all it's all it's all good. So continue that, and uh, you know, till the next one. Yeah, we'll keep going. Uh, remember, guys, cardhedger.com. Links in the description. If you guys want to sign up, you want to check some of that stuff out. We've been using it all night tonight. We're actually, yeah. we're pretty good about using it this t tonight. Yeah, had a lot to look at. So. Uh, some unprecedented sales numbers and stuff that we get to look at. And, um, but yeah, apps on the way. Uh, remember to 
leave us a comment, ask us a question, anything. You know what? One thing we didn't look at is last week's episode. Uh, I don't remember seeing any questions. No, there weren't any. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I didn't think <laughs> there were. I didn't think there were. I just wanted to make sure we weren't missing anything. But you, you, no. you, you looked right. Yeah, I looked. Okay, good. Because I'm not. usually pretty good about um, going back at the comments, but I didn't really see if there was anybody with any questions. <sighs> but okay, nope. good. Okay. I'll, be, I'll do a, I'll do a better job of doing that beforehand next time because I, I I really want to make sure we don't miss anybody. Um, if anybody did, uh, actually, you know what? We did have one. I knew we had one. Uh, off the pitch, and I'll I'll I'll. That's Pop Brian. Around. They said. Uh, so, question for discussion. Everyone leans on pop count, but with everyone cracking and re-slabbing, how far off in percentages are the pop counts? Should crackers have an obligation to indicate that the card is no longer a PSA, CSG, SGC, or BGS slab? Oh. That's an interesting question. That you know what we're gonna save. <coughs> we're gonna save that. I think we should. That's I think that's gonna be a good that's off the a, pitch. A... Off the pitch, we're definitely gonna get to that question in the next episode for sure. Thank you for that question because that is a great question. Yeah. And me and JD are trying to be good about keeping things under an hour. Um, that's that one's juicy. That one's got some. Yep. That, there's some meat on that bone there. So thanks 100%. for the question, man. We'll definitely get get to it next week for sure. Um, but yeah, keep them coming, folks. Keep the questions coming. We appreciate them. Comments, subscribes, uh, reviews. If you're listening to it on a podcast app, we really appreciate those as well. Uh, share them with your friends, colleagues, buddies. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Love y'all. Peace out.